Good evening. It is your boy Big D bringing you another video. It'll be a wrestling topic today. First time I've done a wrestling related vid in a while now. If you don't already know, I don't really watch wrestling anymore because I think it's trash now. I do still read results online, watch the Blitz Sports Network reviews, and if there was like a good match, a good segment, whether it be on WWE, Impact, Ring of Honor, maybe even New Japan, I'll go check it out. But for the most part, I just don't really care anymore. Because it's just not that entertaining to me anymore. I mainly pay attention to the main pay-per-views, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam. Not so much Survivor Series anymore because Survivor Series nowadays is complete garbage. It's basically SmackDown vs. Raw nowadays. Which is basically, which makes Survivor Series a glorified bragging rights pay-per-view. Remember the bragging rights pay-per-view back from 2009-10? Yeah. But anyway, as we all know, the Royal Rumble is around the corner. It'll be on January 28th in Philly. According to recent betting odds, the odds on favor to win the Royal Rumble is Shinsuke Nakamura. And let me tell you something. Shinsuke Nakamura has to be the Royal Rumble winner. Shinsuke Nakamura is currently the odds-on favorite to win the 2018's Royal Rumble, the men's Royal Rumble. There's a men's Royal Rumble and there's a women's Royal Rumble. I don't know about you, but I could give two fucks about the women's Royal Rumble. Nobody cares about that. They're mainly just trying. They mainly have that so they can pe so they can feed that PC narrative. Give me a break. But anyway, Shinsuke Nakamura has to win that Rumble. Because the current WWE Champion, I've still been paying attention because, I, like I said before, I read results online. So, AJ Styles is currently the WWE Champion. He finally dethroned that no-talent bum, Jinder Mahal. So, it would make sense. The best thing to do would be, okay, AJ Styles, he keeps the title. Shinsuke Nakamura wins the Royal Rumble. We get that AJ Shinsuke match at WrestleMania. That's the match that a lot of us have wanted for so long. Bruce Blitz has mentioned it numerous times on Blitz Sports Network. He mentioned it in the Money in the Bank review. Yeah, the, the crowd erupted when those two faced off. It, it, that, was a, that was a moment. Look it up on Google Images, AJ versus Shinsuke WWE. You will see that image of them staring each other down during the Money in the Bank ladder match. It was ultimately won by Baron Corbin, and then he got buried. That's another story, but that's not what's important. What's important right now is that's the matchup we want to see. Go look up AJ versus Shinsuke at NJPW. Two of the, two of the best wrestlers in the world today. The King of Strong Style versus the Phenomenal One. You cannot tell me that that's not a WrestleMania main event right there. Yeah, Shinsuke, he's the number one favorite to win the Rumble. The other favorites are John Cena, a.k.a. Fuckboy Buckethead. Roman Reigns, who er much earlier this year was, was long-standing. He was the odds-on favorite for a while now. Roman Reigns, a.k.a. Boring Fuckface. He was the odds on favor for a while now. And there's a lot of, there was a lot of rumors circling around that at WrestleMania the main event may be Roman Reigns against Brock Lesnar in the main event. Damn it, I said it twice. Now there's even rumors that John Cena may face AJ Styles. That Cena may be AJ Styles' opponent instead of Nakamura. So going into 2018, even though Shinsuke is the favorite. Fucking John Cena and Roman Reigns are right fucking behind him. And also the other two are Dolph Ziggler, which is weird. Considering that the guy, the guy's just coming off of... He's currently the United States Champion. Recently took the belt off Corbin by pinning Bobby Roode. And the other is Finn Balor. A Finn Balor versus AJ Styles match would be great. Now let's look at some, now let's look at some more odds. Because according to uh, Patty Power, there's other odds that'll just make you laugh. I want you to see this. You got Shinsuke right behind Balor's Randy Orton. Can never count him out. Baron Corbin, buried. Yeah, thanks, John. Daniel Bryan, I don't even know if he's even going to come back. AJ Styles, 
He's the champion. He ain't gonna enter. And Brock Lesnar is also in the in the odds. But here's where it gets funny. Kenny Omega. The rumors could still circulate that he might come back. I have no real love for Kenny Omega, primarily because of the way the guy carries himself, wearing princess dresses, and from what I've heard. But you can't deny that he's a that he's a great talent in the ring. Who else? Yeah, you got Shane McMahon. CM Punk, he's not coming back. Whoa, 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 back up. Mojo Rawley and Eric Rowan have better odds than Kane. Shawn Michaels. Conor McGregor. Yeah. CM Punk, he ain't coming back. Tyler Breeze, a.k.a. Prince Pussy, has better odds than the Big Show. I think Big Show is still injured, but he may make a return. Ryback, he's never coming back. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Bubba Ray, he currently works in Ring of Honor. Last time I last time I read, he and Tommy Dreamer had a match with the Briscoes at Final Battle. It's a match I really would have loved to see, but I never did. But I'll go check it out if I ever get a chance. James Ellsworth, James Ellsworth, they just fired him. Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, uh, these last one, Alberto Del Rio. He's currently working at Impact as Alberto El Patron. I think there's a, I think these names are just added in to as a joke. Vin Diesel. Floyd Mayweather, these last ones will make you laugh. Donald Trump and Barack Obama. <laughs> Could you imagine Barack Obama entering the Royal Rumble? <laughs> Donald Trump. No, I could totally... That would be so funny if Donald Trump were to enter the Royal Rumble, take out paper bags or however else, and put it over someone's face and it says CNN on it, and then eliminating them. Without even mounting in some offense, he'll already be on the ground. Trump will kneel down, and he'll come out in his usual suit, and he'll put a bag over someone's head that says CNN on it, and just throw him over the top rope. That'd be funny as hell. I can't stand CNN. I think it's fuck. It's fucking garbage. But either way, could you imagine Barack Obama coming out to the ring? I don't even know what kind of reaction he would get. Yeah, they 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 would be taking up they would be taking up valuable spots, but to me the Royal Rumble, what's important is the guy who wins. And right now, I don't give a shit what anybody says. Shinsuke Nakamura has to be the guy. You could also consider Finn Balor versus AJ. I mean, after all, they put on a great match at the TLC pay-per-view. It was a great pay-per-view. There was no Cena, there was no Reigns. There was no Gender, there was no New Day. Or as I like to call him, the fag day. Or as my man Devin Hughes reacts, calls him the new gay. But it might just be a pipe dream. But we can, but we can only hope. It would be really fucking stupid. But it it would be, it would be the most likely scenario. But it would be really fucking stupid that going into 2018, like Bruce Blitz mentioned on Christmas. When Bruce Blitz made that video on Christmas, John Cena was the fucking odds-on favorite to win. And that would have been really goddamn stupid. You think about that shit. He, he nailed it 100%. No, 200%. That is complete fucking bullshit. To have Roman Reigns or John Cena win the Royal Rumble in 2018. Considering the fact that the fans want to see... Because that would be what Vince Mc... McCancer, as Devin Hughes Reacts calls him. Devin Hughes React, Vince McMahon, a.k.a. Meek Mahan, as Matt Hardy, Broken Matt Hardy calls him. Or Vince McCancer, as Devin Hughes Reacts calls him. It's what he wants. That's probably what he's most likely going to do, being the old, decrepit, out-of-touch bastard that he is. I seriously doubt they're... Don't get, don't get me wrong. I like Brock Lesnar. He is a fucking beast. Arguably the most legit badass in wrestling history. But nobody wants to fucking see Roman Reigns versus Lesnar in the fucking main event. Nobody wants to see that shit. And it's going to be another coronation for Reigns. It's been rumored for a long time that 
Brock, that Roman Reigns would win the Rumble and face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania and be the guy to dethrone, to dethrone Lesnar. That would be a very stupid move on their part, but oh, they'll they'll do it because that's what Vince wants. John Cena. There's also rumors of John Cena facing the Undertaker. Nobody wants to see that shit either. And how the fuck is John Cena better matchup against AJ Styles than Shinsuke Nakamura? The matchup with, against AJ Styles was already shit at the Royal Rumble. Styles basically fucking carried his ass the entire match. He made all these mistakes. John Cena and Roman Reigns have been chasing away viewers, including myself. Cena chased my bitch ass away when he went over Kane at the Elimination Chamber 2012. I'll never fucking forget that shit. I'll never let that shit go. And you can't make me let it go. I just try not to think about it. Let me show you let me show you the viewerships over the years. I have a chart. You can you can go to a Reddit post. I leave a link to it down in the description box. In 1999, the they were generating 6 million viewers. Stone Cold Steve Austin was putting asses in the seats. 2000 it was 588. The invasion angle did some damage and Triple H, the man with three H's, the game, his reign of terror. And then just when things were starting to look up after Batista won the title off him, boom, Cena happened. And he was slowly shoved down our throats by 2007. And viewership was, started, viewership was starting to drop. It slowly went back up when he was out of the main event. But once he got back in that main event, the viewership went back down even further. And... Just when the Cena shit was over, they put Roman Reigns as a successor, and right now, the WWE, especially after Roman Reigns got the honors of retiring The Undertaker and, and Cena went over AJ Styles, two fucking booking decisions that I've bitched about in the past. I've, I've made two videos complaining about that shit. And with all that, the WWE is hitting all-time low viewerships. You can either look at a Reddit post... That I'll leave a link to in the description. Or you can go to BlitzSportsNetwork.com. Bruce Blitz will tell you all about it. And I do apologize if I end up accidentally quoting him. But the dude is just... I can't help myself. The dude is just completely spot on when he talks about shit. I mean, you got fucking John Cena, a.k.a. Fuckboy... Bruce Blitz calls him Fuckboy Buckethead. And the shit factor of pro wrestling. Who... Let's be honest. You could probably go to the Columbus Market down south of where I live in Jersey. Well, they don't really sell it there, but you could go to, or you could go to one of those Chinese sites, or even better, you could get a Jerome Brown jersey, a Jerome Brown jersey stitched. Those those jerseys from the eighties, from the late eighties, early nineties. Those football jerseys are, they're supposed to be screen printed, but they're actually stitched. No, they're supposed to be screen printed, but they're. The authentic ones are screen printed. The fake ones are stitched. Stitched. A stitched Jerome Brown jersey with the Jerome with the Jerome Brown patch. They added those after his death so he never wore it. And that one of the perhaps the fakest jersey of all time. Even that would be more authentic than John Cena. I mean, the guy's a goddamn phony. Exploits charity, exploits the goddamn troops. And then you got and then you got Roman Reigns, as Blitz calls him, boring fuckface, Roman Stains, the uncharismatic anathema. The shit factor of pro wrestling, John Cena, that's a parody of Bobby Roode's it factor, and uncharismatic anathema is a parody of Jeff Hardy's nickname, the charismatic enigma. Because Roman Reigns is uncharismatic, he has no charisma whatsoever. Every time he gets on the mic, he's mumbling to kind of Roman Reigns. I can't talk while you boom me. Roman Reign. Come down to a ring. Roman Reign. Never had a good match. I can't do it. I don't think I could do it as good as he does it, but it's just funny as hell. The dude has no charisma, and he's an anathema. Fans fucking despise his ass. My man Nick Viscuso is a huge fan of him, but that's okay. More power to him. He can like however he can like whoever the fuck he wants. That's his opinion. I'm not going to fault him for that. Roman Reigns, even though Blitz re referenced David Copperfield on Christmas, but 
I got a better one. You have a be- Roman Reigns has a better chance of resurrecting Osama bin Laden from the dead, digging him out of the Arabian Sea, performing some weird ritual of some sorts to bring him back to life, and then doing the fusion dance. Fusion, ha! Huh? Doing the fusion dance and then f- flying at full speed up to the air and blowing up Mars with a spirit bomb than he ever will of getting over because the guy does not have it. And not to mention his wrestling matches are complete shit. They're redundant. All he does is like punch, kick, stupid man punch. John Cena, motherfucker, that dude is a, he's awkward as hell as a, he's awkward as hell as an athlete. The only thing he really knows how to do is kiss ass, pander, and exploit, and make wrestling look as fake and as awkward as inhumanly conceivable with his weight room athleticism. Yeah, these guys have chased off countless viewers, and you, and... You think they would be a better option to win the Rumble than Shinsuke Nakamura? I don't think so. Shinsuke Nakamura has put on th- have he's put on countless five star matches. He's been in the ring with AJ Styles before. Finn Balor would be a good alternative. Another guy even suggested that to me online that maybe Samoa Joe should win the Royal Rumble and face Brock Lesnar and tap him out with the Coquina Clutch. That wouldn't be as good of a match as AJ versus Shinsuke, but uh, Samoa Joe is like slit is like hey, he's even below Batista, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens. But yeah, he would be another good option. Anyway, I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope I'm hoping it's Shinsuke. We'll see what happens. I'll p- I'll be paying close attention to the Royal Rumble. Let me know what y'all think. I'm probably going to get a few WWE Pukeverse. Probably going to get some WWE Apologists and WWE Bubble Dollars in there. Probably talking shit and telling me I'm delusional and I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Alright. Let's hope Shinsuke wins. We want to see that Shinsuke AJ match. Catch y'all later.